The delegation was met by Congressman Michael Sinicolas, Governor Lulian Guerrero, Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio, and local military officials. Along with Speaker Nancy Pelosi, there is Veterans Affairs Chairman Mark Takano, Foreign Affairs Chairman Gregory Meeks, Ways and Means Vice Chair Susan Delbeni, and member Raj Krishna Worthy and Andy Kim. In a news release, Congressman Sinicola said, quote, We engaged in highly classified discussions critical to Guam's safety and the well-being of our community and shared details of our need for inclusion into national programs. Governor Leon Guerrero released a statement saying, quote, I appreciate their visit and the opportunity to share Guam's key role in overall national defense. My exchange with the delegation yesterday will help build future discussions on critical issues impacting Guam that need federal help. The delegation will visit Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea and Japan. In a statement, Pelosi said, quote, Our delegation will hold high-level meetings to discuss how we can further advance our shared interests and values, including peace and security, economic growth and trade, the COVID-19 pandemic, the climate crisis, human rights and democratic governance. There was no mention of a trip to Taiwan, but in the past week, concerns were raised in Washington that a visit to the island, which China considers a renegade province, would spark a harsh rebuke from Beijing. For KOM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.